Nas Debbie, please teach me how to calculate my measure cycle and when to ovulate. Good day, my friends and followers. Welcome to Nas Debbie Eptics that teaches you about your health with PG English. So I'm here to talk about how to calculate your measure cycle and ovulation cycle. The simplest way is very simple. God, if you don't before I will start, make sure say you share this video. Just the share and now before you continue to the watch this episode of how to calculate measure cycle and ovulation cycle so see you with my practical calculation so these are practical ways of how to calculate measure cycle and ovulation cycle how to calculate measure cycle ovulation uh, measure cycle and ovulation cycle with the formula of minus one you can see these brackets here the formula of minus one and minus 14 or with the formula of 15 brackets open bracket like one plus 14 and close bracket give you equals to 15. so i'm using this kind of formula to teach you how to calculate your measure cycle and how to calculate your ovulation cycle either you use the formula of minus one and minus 14 which is number one formula these are number one formula or you use number two formula of 15 how do we get this 15 one plus 14 is equals to 15 so i bracket it so that you know how to get this 15 so i'm going to give a calendar method now to teach you how to calculate it with minus 1 and 14 or plus uh, uh, or 15 you understand me okay here is my april calendar and my may calendar of how to calculate measure cycle and ovulation cycle with the formula of minus 1 and minus 14 so first of all you know say first one i bath the formula of minus 1 and minus 14 or you use the formula of 15 you understand me so i won't use the formula of minus 1 and minus 14 so they show you how to get your measure cycle length and how to get your ovulation cycle length with april and may so for example say you see your period on the 4th of april and you go see on the 2nd of may you see your period on the 4th of April, the way I take cycle one. Not mind me, this, I don't see uh, other color of marker, but if I'm for using other color of marker. So, so, like I said, I said, if you see your period on the 4th of April, and you go see on the 2nd of May. So, first of all, if you want to know when to, when to be your measure cycle length, eh, you need to start calculation together of 4th of April and 2nd of May. I hope you get your measure cycle length with this calculation then first of all if this fourth of april now your first day of your period you take answer your number one your first day now your number one then your second day now your number two which is under five of may number six now your third day so you need to calculate and they go like this go reach the month of may which the day the day when you say you see your period you understand me you need to calculate and go reach that on the second so let's start the calculation i take the number one as number uh, uh, number four as number one number five as number two number six as number three 27 28 number sec uh, on second of may give me 29 you see uh, from on the first of april uh, on the fourth of uh, april down to on the second of may i can calculate then together, God give me 29, which is I take my number four as number one, number five as number two, down to second of May. It gave me 29 days, which is I have 29 days. So I hope you didn't know your measure cycle length with these 29 days. You're come minus one away from 29. Your minus one away from 29. You're come give you 28 days, which is a day before your period, a day before your first period of May, now be your measure cycle length, which is this 28th, where they on top of this first of May. You see, so you minus one, we can't go this first 
first formula where we say they see here. First formula of minus 1 and minus 14. So we'll come minus 1 away from 29. 1 minus 29 will give me a memory. 28 days. We'll give me 28 days. Minus 1 minus 29 will give me 28 days. Show you see ya. The I of equal to minus 14 away from these 28 days. You can't bring 28 days. Come here. 28 days minus 14 go give you how many days? 14 days. This is our first formula. 14 days. This is our first formula. So let's go for the second formula of 15. Remember, I said we get to formula. Either you use minus 1 or minus 14. So now, I don't really use minus 1 and minus 14 for this first formula. So let's... So these are 15. Now we we'll use for our second formula to take, get the same answer of 14 days. In case if you don't want to use your first formula, you can go for the 15 formula. And I believe, say, this 15 formula, eh, that be the simplest way to take, calculate your ovulation. So since we get 15 here, yeah, I won't use this 15 as a second formula. They will go back to this our 29 days. Um, no need to go and talk about a minus one day from it. Even if you minus one day from which you don't already know, say 28 days that your measuring cycle means. But if you want to calculate your ovulation, you will use 15 till the minus the day. Where we say your uh, you see, which is the 29 days, which is 29 days. Minus 15 will give you how many days? 40 days. Shall you see? Yeah. The same answer of this first formula still give us the same answer of this second formula. Now, with the word that I take care of this 15, instead of you to do minus and minus of minus 1 minus 14, just plus 1 and 14 together, I will give you 15. They don't minus the 15 come out once. Instead of you come minus 1, you come minus 14. So just plus 1 and 14 together, will give you 15. Then you come minus 15 away from 29 days, will give you that 14 days. The way you take getter for this second formula, and so you take getter for the third uh, formula. So since it, uh, formula 1 give us 14 days, and formula 2 give us 14 days too, how will we take calculate our ovulation with these 14 days? Remember, these 14 days in our ovulation day. This 14 day represent our ovulation day. They will be so we'll see our period. Then if you want to count your ovulation day, you'll start from the day where we say you see your period, which is on the second of May. On the second of May will give us number one. On the third of May will give us number two. Fourth of May will give us number three. 13th of May will give us 12 days. 14th of May will give us 13 days. Our 15th of May will give us 14 days. Which is, these 14 days, these 14 days of Formula 1 from uh, Formula 2 falls on, on the 15th of May. Which is, on the 15th of May is your ovulation. Now your 14 days go for put. Hope you understand. For those who have been say they need to give birth to boy. Start to meet your husband from day 11, day 12, day 13, day 14. For those who have they need care, start to meet your husband from day 7, day 8, day 9, day 10. Full stop. Not past that day. I repeat them again. For baby care, use day 7, day 8, day 9, day 10. Full stop. Make you not meet your husband past there again. You understand which is for baby care. For baby boy, day level, day 12, day 13, day 14, full stop, which is 1 to 3, 4, or let me say from uh, um, 3 days to your ovulation, now for baby boy, do you understand me? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 days to your ovulation, or no, sorry, 7 days to your ovulation, now for baby girl. So I will use another date so they calculate measure cycle and ovulation length. Wash it. So we we'll choose another date. I go for April 7th. For example, so you see your period in the month of April 7th. I